Greetings from the grave. I am the killer king of Crystal Lake, Zero Voorhees. And I'm Haddonfield's homeboy, a.k.a. the Mad Hatter of Splatter. <laughs> I'm, still working, I'm still working on mine. I, I had one. I had an idea. But it was more of a song for the season. As my M40 fires, his life will expire. A shot to the head, my target is dead. Walking through a sniper wonderland. But that was dumb. But it's too late. It's already on camera, so... <laughs> anyway, here we go. Episode 2. Glad you're still with us. Rod. Zombieland 2. Sony is picking it up. Sony said... It's like a baton race. Whoever had it first came running. So we're running out of money and capital. And Sony was, here, give it to me! And now Sony's running with Zombieland 2. So look forward to Zombieland 2 possibly coming out as early as next October. Do you get That's a, good. Do you get a free ticket? Woody, Woody Harrelson's first sequel ever. Do you get a free ticket if you buy a big screen? Because they're giving everything else. Blu-ray players, PS3s. Oh, yeah. Welcome to the Holiday Shopping Network, y'all. And um, as, as, as a... A public service announcement, if you will. Remember, this holiday season, buy old school original horror and give it to someone you love. <laughs> yeah, sure. Buy it. So that's what I'm saying. Like, instead shut of going, up your ass, yeah, buy it, do, whatever, do something with it. Break the tradition. Stop getting people Adam Sandler movies and, and nothing against Adam Sandler. But, like, you know, stop getting them Night at the Museum and stuff like that. Say you care by saying, hey, if any shit like this ever happens to you, now you're a little bit more prepared. You know? So buy horror this holiday season. Yeah. And make it a bloody hell of day. Not horrors, That's but for horror movies. Yeah. Not horrors. Well, for your uncle, you're going to have to get the horror movies. Because that's just your uncle. That's how he is. If you don't keep him occupied in the room with his hand, he's going to come after your cat. <laughs> I'm just trying to help. Just trying to help. That's what we do. Yeah, so we got uh, <laughs> Rob Zombie. What, what? What about Rob Zombie again? Rob Zombie T Rex, baby. I'm Tyrannosaurus my, my Rex. Oh, yeah. Tyrannosaurus Rex. No mention of Rob Zombie doing the blob anymore. No. Now everyone's questioning Rob Zombie and Tyrannosaurus Rex, which is going to be an action thriller. No. I thought it was going to be a horror movie. No. I was wrong. And for that exact reason, that's what Rob Zombie said. He was like, I want to do an action thriller because once you go too far down the line in horror, you're kind of expected to stay there. Yep, you're, you're typecast as typecast. a horror director. Yeah. So he wants to, Rob Zombie wants to do what Rob Zombie does. So the only confirmed cast member for T-Rex, you want to guess who it is? Tyler Maine? Nope. Oh, just Sherry? Sherry Moon. Sherry Moon Zombie is the first confirmed cast for T-Rex. And of keep course it happy keeps little Rob Zombie happy. You keep know yourself getting the panties. You gotta keep casting her in the flicks. Ain't no shame in the game. Don't get to stick no dick if she ain't in no flick. God <laughs> damn it. <laughs> there it Shit. is. You're the rhyme master today. <laughs> Every time you speak, I feel like you should have a DJ behind you. <laughs> but I think Tyler Mann is in this movie too, though. I'm pretty sure he is, I but it's so just at this point it hasn't been confirmed. Because I remember when, uh, like, a, like a ways back, yonder, like... Ways back. And to the left. On old Ty's MySpace page, there was some weird ass pictures of him looking all grubby and weird yeah, and yeah. shit. And remember I told you, I was like, I think those are like T Rex pictures or something. Yeah. Because then they had that T Rex art. And there was the, like a the dude. movie poster, like the Grindhouse like, style? Yeah, yeah, there was a dude who kind of looked like that. With all this. And th th this isn't even confirmed. We're just saying no, this we're might be. But I think he would be in it. I can almost guarantee He's it. a fucking monster. How can you not put him in a movie, huh? Eh. It's not even a fucking eh. monster. Eh. One more? Mm. There you go. <coughs> so, ugh. we'll give you guys more details as they develop. T-Rex, action thriller, grindhouse style, Sherry Moon Zombie, and don't start hating the man. That's his wife, goddammit. You got to put her in it. Plus, he could do whatever the fuck he wants. I'm tired of you fuckers talking shit. Let the man be Rob Zombie. Rob Zombie lets you be you. Yeah, like, he don't go on fucking shit in your cereal. No, bro. he doesn't start all kinds of YouTube accounts just to talk shit to you. He doesn't sit there and say, oh, well, Megan Fox, well, who discovered uh, Megan Fox? Yeah, a brainless piece of eye candy. whoop de fucking do Rob Zombie discovers talent. Compton, for example, nobody knew who she was before Halloween, am I right? Nope. Is not that really. not her first movie? That's her first movie, as far as I know. And that's talent. Instead of getting people like Megan Fox, 
He'd rather get people like Daniel Harris, who's ten times as hot and more of a, sque- a scream queen in the horror And genre. a horror veteran. Yes. He probably got Megan Fox out of some fucking strip club for $20 and a two-drink minimal. Yeah. Woo. Is that the best game you got? You know, let's go ahead and just put a little pause on the horror right now. Watch me watch you. Watch me watch you with a fucking scope rifle. How's that grab you? How about, oh, I may have won already won 10 minutes. <laughs> you fucking twisted bitch. I fucking hate you. But you know what? You're not getting under our skin. You're not pissing us off because we just casually block your retarded ass. We know you like Michael Bay. We know you like Brad Fuller. We know you like Platinum Dunes. And we know you're a brainless fucking cunt. We get it. She tosses their salads for free with unwiped assholes. She does. She and Michael Bay and all them, they call you wet nap. Because that's all you do. <laughs> you just sit there and you get under the taint and you scrub it clean. With that's your all tongue. you're for. Yeah, with your tongue. You get every. You don't even know the difference between shit and french fries. That's how much you're down there. Scrubbing the taint. Getting the uh, fucking extra taco cheese from in between your teeth. No, and no, stuff. no. She gets in between her teeth. The dingleberry hairs, and she just like leaves them there and sucks on them. And yeah. Fucking Every nasty. time you smile, nasty. you look like a 1972 Peruvian fucking cab. That's what you do, and your breath smells like a llama. You can fuck the fuck off. You're not bothering us. You like your remakes? Fine. Go jump in the line and fucking follow the other sheeple to the fucking box office, making these pieces of shit rich off your stupidity, and they don't even care about you defending them. So fuck you. Yep, and, and, and in the meantime, People like us and Shibley and fucking Ryan. Hellspawn, Abstract, yeah, Abstract, Gotham Club, Deacon Abstract. All the real, all, all the real motherfuckers will give you a uh, gamer man, comic book guy. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll give you something to fucking look forward to. Smack <laughs> Army, Ministry of Darkness, all of them heads. Yep, all of them. It's, it's it, you know, fifty million Elvis fans can't be wrong. You know what I'm saying? We got all these Rod Army killers that are sitting there going, you know what? These remakes are bullshit. I mean, thank you for opening our eyes. We've actually had people thank us. Now, you can still like the remake. You can support the remake because you're supporting horror. We're fine with that. But you got to understand, our position and our opinion is we see through the bullshit. And we know that this douche nozzle tripe fucked up is just getting rich off of copying just plagiarism. Okay? The Hitcher, Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street, Amityville Horror, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Transformers. Give me one fucking original movie that any of them have done. Just one. My Bloody Valentine. Who? My Bloody Valentine. So now that we got that off our chest, you flat-chested, pimply face, I can't get a dog to play with me without putting peanut butter on my snatch. Fuck you. No, the dog wouldn't even lick her fucking snatch with peanut saying. butter on it. That's what I'm saying. She couldn't get laid if she had a $100 bill hanging out of her zipper. That's what I'm saying right there. So, you know, keep doing your shit and we're going to keep blocking yeah. you. And, and us and the rod arm will keep holding this shit down. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah, and you know when, when you're secretly at the video store by yourself because you can't get a date on a Friday night and you and you rent a real horror movie because you know you do? You know, us yeah. for that shit. We know you're just talking shit to get under our skin. It's not getting under it our doesn't. skin. It doesn't. And you're not getting on this round of Jeopardy. You're just not. I will Alex Trebek bitch smack. Your ass back to fucking Wheel of Fortune and those other monkey no-brain games. Uh, is there a T? Ding! Ding! That's Pat Sajak, dude. I know who the fuck it is! That's what I'm saying! Out of Jeopardy! Because that's what smart people play! And go to fucking Wheel of Fortune she Hangman! Going, she ain't going to Wheel of Fortune because Vanna White looks damn good and Vanna White wouldn't let that fucking right. and and her, on her show. Be like, Get yes, the fuck she would out of here, because ugly. it would make Vanna White look better. Even better. Yeah, this is true. That's like putting a turd up against a fucking... Filet mignon. There you go. Filet mignon. And we're going to filet mignon our asses over to episode number three, and we'll get back to the news. I just had to get that. So, uh, yeah, hang on.